highest-selling television series in modern history. SBS Europe correspondent Brett Mason reports from Copenhagen. First came the killing. Then Borgen. Thank you for your patience, Mr. President. Nordic noir thrillers whose worldwide success shocked everyone, even the stars. When they started travelling, I, I just, I couldn't believe it. It's about Danish politics with a spin doctor and a journalist. It has absolutely no international potential at all. At least that's what Pillu Aspect thought about Borgen. When he landed the role of Casper, the Prime Minister's spin doctor. You have to remember we have 5.5 million people and one third of the population in Denmark watches the show. So I'm, I'm very thankful that I got the opportunity, but I'm also angry because it's more difficult to shop alone now and buy toilet paper. Screened in 120 countries, both series are set in Copenhagen, but were brought to life here in DR's Space Age studios in a series of elaborate, purpose-built sets. You had to build your own parliament. Yeah, because they don't want to switch the fiction and the, the real world. It's very authentic. I can almost imagine the state minister and the spin doctor charging down this corridor to deal with some type of crisis. Exactly. That's what's happened in Christian's call, the parliament of Denmark. That's what happened in this broad red corridor. The public broadcaster producing two critically acclaimed series on a drama budget, an eighth of the size of the BBC. Have you been surprised by how popular these shows have been not only in Denmark but internationally? Yes, of course. Uh, I mean, we're a little country with a small budget for uh, the drama, but we also have a lot of good stories to tell in Denmark. We feel that the shows we are doing, they have something in for the heart and for the mind. So what's the secret to Scandinavia's success? I have some ideas. One of them is that that Danish drama is, is, is a mixture of uh, business life and personal life. I think that people really like that they can see uh, people with power and they can see them uh, in their own private homes. Um, and the other one is that, that it's, it's strong female characters. And I don't know how it is in Australia, but, but in Denmark right now, the, the strongest persons in the, in the country are female. Borgen rising to power at the same time as Australia's first female prime minister. I think it's easier to be a woman prime minister in the fictional world. In no episode do we talk about my clothes or my uh, handbags or in my, my hair cut, which they do much more with female uh, politicians than with male politicians. The imminent third and final instalment of the political thriller bringing to an end one of the country's most successful productions. It's a little bit sad walking around this back lot and seeing all these sets come down now that Borgen's finishing. No, actually it's not because, I mean, we are on our way. We have new shows that uh, we have all our creative energy in now, so it's okay to say goodbye to Borgen. And this is the setting for the next chapter in Denmark's Nordic Noir Adventure. The 10-part series, The Legacy, is due to be released in January next year. It's about uh, some children that their mother is going to die and, and uh, what happened afterwards. Is it a little bit daunting following in the footsteps of the killing and Borgen, which have been huge internationally. I think the best thing is not to feel the pressure. If we just continued the way we are doing, then people will probably run away. In Copenhagen, Brett Mason, World News Australia. Yes, no pressure. Season two of Borgen premieres exclusively on SBS One on November the 13th at 9.30 p.m. And you can see more of Brett's interviews with the stars on our website. We know Anton's a fan. Before I hand him back, you back to him, let me tell you about a story coming up on the weekend, the remarkable moves to help millions of obese Australians. The plan to remove junk food from supermarkets and schools in one part of the country. Anton, that's tomorrow night on World News Australia. Thanks. Looking forward to Borgen. The